Today we would like you to join us for a few minutes on a trip out to catch brim. Firstly, to select a spot to fish. We look at a steep mud bank not far inside a surf bar. While some brim are caught in back eddies, this fast running water regularly produces the most fish, particularly if there are sunken trees fallen in from the eroded banks. While brim bite best at night, our love of sunshine has brought us out during the day. Having decided on a starting point, we put rod and reel together and set about rigging our 10 pound line. It will be seen that the hook is tied with a four turn half blood knot. There are many quite efficient knots, but we find that this one does the job and can be tied in the dark with little practice. The hook used is a sharp pointed number one French. The sinker used varies with the run of tide, using as little as possible. As we are faced we're here with a five knot ebb tide, we select a number three ball sinker. To prevent the large hole in the sinker jamming on the eye of the hook, a small double O ball sinker is put below it. These sinkers are allowed to rest on top of the hook. Already now we nose the boat ashore for I have decided to start fishing from the bank. From here I can work a bait in a wide arc, finishing downstream against the base of the wall or bank, a place which is often a haunt of the brim. Once ashore, a cast is made upstream against the tide. Immediately the sinker lands, it will be seen that the rod is drawn well back with the reel still in the casting position. This gives slack line to allow the sinker to go to the bottom quickly. As the bait drifts downstream every 10 seconds or so, wind with your reel till you feel the weight of your bait. If no fish is there, allow the bait to drop back and carry on its way. If on the other hand your tip starts to bend, just keep winding and lean back. Do not strike with a rod, keep it still. All you have to do from there on is keep the rod well bent with the weight of the fish, whether retrieving or giving line. And so a brim is caught. Fish usually only bite in short bursts, so let's get another bait on and get back in the water. Much has been said of putting a yabby on a hook, yet it is just into the tail end, up and through the hard chest part, and the tail is then pulled up over the eye of the hook. What really matters is how you cast it. It must be a smooth cast, any flick or jerk and you will probably lose your yabby regardless of how you've put it on. The ideal reel for brimming would be a six inch estuary champion as it has power to keep fish from snags and fast recovery to help you find and land fish. The ideal rod is between 10 and 11 foot long which gives a slow deliberate arcing as it takes the weight of the fish. Possessing good tip action yet having sufficient strength in the middle to be able to swing a pound and a half fish into the chest whether on bank or in boat. If your brim has swallowed the bait, run your thumb from gill case through to the lower jaw. It breaks open easily and you can then just lift the hook out. Not everyone likes to fish from the bank so I rejoin fishing companion Jack Alvey for a little boat fishing. Where it is possible, we prefer to stand and keep alert even when in a boat. This fish, aided by the fast tide, kept Jack busy and could have been lost when his lazy action rod did not lift it cleanly, allowing it to strike the side of the boat. However, all is well and another brim goes into the creel. When fish are scarce, it often pays to use a bigger bait, and to do this with yabbies, the first one is threaded only halfway along and slid up the line. A second is put on in the conventional way. This gives a free-moving, lifelike bait, but it should not be used if toads or pickers are about, as they will bite the line above the hook when nibbling the bait away. It's on again. That slow-moving tip starts the well-known bend to show the weight of the fish about to hit my rod. The powerful winding of the six-inch side cast brings the fish quickly out of the snags and up near the surface where he can be quickly landed without resistance from the fast tide. Swung from the water into the chest, he is soon unhooked and creeled. Even from the boat, the casts are still made upstream to give a bait a chance to find a fish for you. A bait drifting naturally with the tide is of much more interest to a fish than an anchored bait. 
always try to search fish out. Just for good measure and to show that there are brim to be caught right now, Jack hooks another. Yes, there are brim about. Perhaps not in the numbers, which we will see when the season is at its peak, but certainly enough to keep you busy. And what nicer way is there to spend a day than out fishing? A relaxation, a tonic, a grand sport, all with the good possibility of the rich reward of good fish dinners. Particularly if you use good gear, good bait and sound methods. Keep your gear in your hands and always fish as though your next bite will be the big one you've waited for. Even though we turn for home and pack our gear, rest assured we will be back.